In this video, I want to show you how to search through text. So in these cells under review, I've just got some random text. Um, there's probably one to three paragraphs of text in each cell. What I want to do is search through each one to see if there's a key word. So let's take this category four, for example. I've randomly put the word computer, memory, laptop, screen, microphone throughout the text. There's probably about 100,000 cells that we want to have a look at. But what I want to do is whenever one of these words appears inside a paragraph, so whether it's one of them or two of them, I just want the word yes to appear over here then I can categorize because I can set up a category one, two, three, and four based on sets of keywords for my categories. So we'll just do category four here. So to start with, we're going to start with equals and then we want the count if. So we're going to use the count if function and the range that we're looking at is just the one cell. That's that one cell there with the sentence or the paragraphs in. Then you put a comma and then the criteria is going to be that list that's on the other page. But we need to make it a wildcard list. That is, we want anything before the word and anything after the word. So to do that, in speech marks you put an asterisk that's a wild card for an unknown number of characters then we're going to join that or concatenate it with the and sign or the ampersand and now we need to go over to the other page so i'm going over to the keywords and then highlight your set of words that you want in there now because we're copying this down we need to absolute reference that so press f4 to put dollar signs in front of D2 to D6 or whatever your range is. Now we need another asterisk at the end so that it'll pick up these words whether there's text in front of it or behind it. So we need another ampersand then in speech marks the asterisk and then speech marks again and then close the bracket off. Now if we press enter now you'll see that you'll get what's known as a spill error. If I just click on there can you see that it's coming down one two three four more cells that's because of the range that we put in there. So to overcome this what we're going to do is go in front of the press F2 go in front of the count if and we're going to put an or function I know this seems a bit strange but just put an or function so it's or open bracket and then at the end close the bracket so we don't want any more arguments in there for the or function now if I press enter you'll see that we get a false in there now We've got to take this a stage further. Let's press F2 again. What I want to do is put an if function in front of the or. So if open bracket and then at the end of that, so that whole thing that we've just done there, the or and the count if, is your logical test. So we're going to put a comma and then in speech marks the word yes and then comma and then for the false we're going to have no in speech marks and then close the bracket for the if function. Now because this is an array the d2 to d6 and we want it to check through that array comparing it with all the text within this cell f2 in this case what you need to do rather than pressing enter hold control shift and then press enter 
And what that does, if you have a look up here, it puts some curly brackets at the beginning and at the end. That tells it that this is being treated as an array function. So now we can just double click and send this down and you'll get a yes if any of those words are in this cell F2 and then F3 and so on. And let's just have a look to see if this is correct. So let's go to the yes that's here. I'm just going to copy all the text that's in there and paste that text in there. Okay, now first of all we can see laptop just there and laptop was one of the words. Let's go and have a look at keywords. There it is, laptop, the third one down. So it's picked up that there was a laptop in there. Let's just have another look at it. Laptop, webcam, there's a webcam there as well. So it's picked that up. Okay. So now you can just go off and create your categories and you can have yes and no's down here. In fact, instead of the no, I would probably, let's just edit this, change that to a blank cell. So take the no out and just leave two speech marks next to each other. Remember, control, shift and enter, and then copy that down. And now we can see the yeses that's in there. If I go and change the keywords, so let's take laptop out let's change that to maybe keyboard and let's take microphone out and change that to mouse so we've got less in there now let's go over to here and you can see there's less yeses down here now so it does check each and indivi each individual word against the whole sentence or paragraphs in this column F. I hope that helps you and if you like that please click that thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any more make sure you subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.